Alright guys, it's your boy Ryan Thomas here and today we're going to be comparing the Nexus 6P and the iPhone 6S Plus. Now this is going to be a quick video and these are arguably the two best phones that I've ever tested uh, according to a lot of people. They're not my favourite uh, but they are the best arguably. Firstly, I want to say that optimization is a key here because we're rocking a dual core chip on the Apple side and an 8 core chip on the Nexus side, meaning the, <laughs> meaning the Nexus has four times the cores as the iPhone 6S Plus. It also has 1.5 times the RAM. The Nexus 6P does have three gigabytes of RAM and the iPhone 6S Plus has two gigabytes of RAM. This has not, never really been an issue. They both run really well in terms of day-to-day -day use. That is games, applications, multitasking. It all works perfectly fine. The screens are a bit different, so the, both these phones are from the average to high ends on the size kind of spectrum, and we've got a 5.7 inch 1440p AMOLED display on the 6P, and we also have a 5.5 inch, very slightly smaller, 1080p IPS display on the iPhone 6S Plus. Now, now I do believe myself that the Nexus 6P does have a better screen. It is mainly due to the fact that it is crispier and yeah, it is packing a lot more pixels into almost the same size screen. I do prefer having a slightly larger display as well, which makes you know a little bit more biased to me because I do like the larger displays. And both phones are between average and large on the size spectrum anyway, like I said. Now in terms of design, these are both rocking metal designs with glass fronts, which is which is one of my preferred ways of doing things. The only thing I have an issue with is the, the visor on the 6P. I think it looks damn good and I do think the, the phone is very aesthetically pleasing, but it is a bit hazardous and there have been cases of the, the glass breaking on the back. I've never had this problem and I don't know people who have had this problem, but looking online it does seem to be quite a notable concern. Both phones are very slippery in the hand. I was very surprised by how slippery the 6P was. I knew the 6S Plus was going to be slippery because everyone said it would be, but the 6P was a little bit more slippery than I thought. It does have chamfers around the edge, so it is a little bit more grippy than the iPhone, and you're definitely going to want a case on both of these devices. They're very high-end. The cameras then. Both of these really wowed me. They're both using 12 megapixel sensors. The video on the 6S Plus, I believe, came out better. I like the OIS on it, but at the same time, low light, I do believe, came out better on the 6 6P. I really couldn't pick between these two cameras, they're absolutely phenomenal. Maybe I'd pick the 6S Plus over its speed, but then I'd li I do like the low light performance of the 6P, so I'm not sure. Both are capable of shooting 4K video, by the way, and both, surprisingly, are capable of shooting 240fps, 720p slow motion video. The front cameras on both of these phones are very good. We've got an 8 megapixel camera on the 6P and we've also got a 5 megapixel camera on the 6S Plus, both of which take really, really nice selfies and if you're all about that selfie game, they are fantastic. The 6P is a little bit crispier, obviously due to the high megapixel count, but overall I do believe they're roughly the same in terms of quality. For battery life, if you look on paper, the Nexus 6P runs away with it, but actually in reality for me, the iPhone 6S Plus did run away with this one. The 6S Plus has a 2750mAh battery or 2750mAh hours. Whereas the 6P has a 3,450 mAh battery. That's effectively a 700 mAh difference, which is quite a difference. I did seem to have a bit of a dodgy unit when it came to the 6P due to its battery life, but I did manage to get just, just about through a full day after changing the background to completely black to comply with the AMOLED display and try and get on with it. Whereas with the iPhone 6S Plus, it doesn't matter what background I used, I managed to get two to three days out of it quite easily. And when I used it heavily during the day, I managed to get, you know, at least a day out of it, which is awesome. And for charging ports, I know that's a bit of a weird one to talk about in comparisons, but on the iPhone 6S Plus we have Lightning, which is reversible, and then on the 6P we do have USB Type-C, which is reversible. They're both convenient, the only thing I would find though is that USB Type-C is nowhere near common enough yet for it to be kind of viable to just walk around with no charger, unless you're really, really lightly using the phone. I like to take a charger with me all the time, but when you've got an iPhone, most people have iPhones nowadays, which is much easier, and if they don't have iPhones, then they'll have micro USB but not Type-C. The speakers on both, well, there's no comparison here. The 6P steals the show. It's got dual front firing speakers, which is awesome, whereas the iPhone 6S Plus does have a bottom firing mono speaker. It does sound fairly good, but nowhere near close to the 6P's performance. Now, the OS. They both run the newest versions of uh, Android and iOS, obviously the iPhone only running iOS and the 6P only running Android, and I think this is great. I really, really like both phones, and it's really difficult to pick between them. When it comes to fingerprint scanners, I do prefer the one on the back of the 6P due to its placement and also the way that you don't have to press a button, you kind of just tap your finger on the back and it unlocks. Although in my testing, and you might be able to see this quite well in the B-roll, the 6S Plus was definitely quicker for me. 
Alright, so I know I haven't covered everything in this video, but it's really difficult for me to because I really need to get this video short. I haven't got any A-roll and I just have the B-roll of these phones. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully it does kind of help you with your decision. I mean, there is a huge price difference here in the UK with the iPhone coming in at just over £400 and the 6P coming in at under £370, which is kind of a big difference. I love the chamfered edges and the design of the 6P, but I do like the efficiency and the usability of the 6s plus so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video like i said please drop a like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it tell me which one you would pick it's really difficult to pick between the two and if you gave me one or the other i probably would sway very very slightly towards the 6s plus just due to its efficiency so thanks for watching guys this has been your boy ryan thomas and hopefully you enjoyed there will be a new phone video coming soon i have ordered a OnePlus 3 but it says it's going to be about a week until that turns up so i'm not really sure what i'm going to do for the next video Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.